Hi, I'm Gabor Nagy, Head of Product and Marketing. Welcome to learn about our products. In this talk, I'm going to introduce the Remote Team Development Survey. Here you can see examples of the survey interface on mobile phone and on desktop. The survey consists of 45 Likert type items. Here are some examples, for example, the first question, the goals of our team are clearly defined and people need to evaluate this, need to rate. If they strongly disagree or disagree, we call that critical response. If they select the mid option, can't tell, we call that neutral response. And if they agree or strongly agree, we call that favorable response or positive response. All, our, all of our items are positive. They are positively formulated and they represent the behaviors that make a team effective. Many of the items would relate to any team, but for example, if you look at here on the desktop version, the last two items, we have appropriate collaboration software solutions and we use it well. And the next one, I have access to the information, resources, technology I need for my work. So these items are specifically designed for remote teams, virtual teams. Yeah, this questionnaire addresses the unique situation and the unique requirements of virtual teams to make them successful. The reports of the RTDS are utilizing the traffic light uh, system, which is a, a very effective way to visualize the responses. All critical responses are, are showed by red. The frequency distribution of neutral responses are displayed with yellow in the middle and green are the percentage of the positive favorable responses. The 45 standard items are organized in dimensions. The dimension summary shows the total score and the score of the 10 areas, the 10 dimensions. And then you see the results for every question. And this questionnaire is best, view, best used on the item level. The most important page of the report are the strengths and weaknesses page. There you can see the items that received the most favorable responses listed. Those are the strengths of the team. And you see the items with the lowest scores. So most likely those are the improvement opportunities. Our remote team development survey is designed for teams and remote work groups that have a team leader. Maybe it's called a manager, project manager, team leader. These questions are designed for teams that have somebody in the role of a team leader. So not teams that are fully self-organized without a real leader or manager. When we design this questionnaire, we're trying to make it as universally applicable as possible. Therefore, questions related to some company specific or certain management specific practices like agile, we, we don't include that or questions that relate to a high degree of self-organization. We didn't include that. And these topics can be addressed by using customized questions. Again, we want to make this survey as universally applicable as possible. So any, rem any team which is remote and has a leader probably will find this questionnaire useful. There are many benefits of using surveys. First of all, there's a learning effect. When people fill in 
the questionnaire, they reflect about the team, they really carefully read the question, they think about it. This helps to promote those behaviors that make a team highly effective. The questionnaire gathers data and this data can be used for effective decision making. It helps to identify the areas of strength and the improvement opportunities, helps in designing inter interventions. And because people went through this process, of course, this uh, such a survey has to be also announced. There's a reason everybody is ready and then the survey creates focus and creates energy and prepares the team for implementing changes. By repeating the survey, teams can track their progress and they can evaluate how effective the interventions were. Our survey has some cool features and advantages. One is a very high level of data protection and the anonymity protection is actually very innovative that we did. Of course, only group reports are possible. And the unique feature is when people submit their questionnaire, they send in the response for the last block or the last questions. In that very moment, we don't really need their names and email addresses anymore. So this all personal data is automatically deleted from the system. And this solution provides a very high level of uh, anonymity. And also there is no problem of uh, personal data because we don't contain any personal data. The survey interface offers a smooth and efficient experience on both PC and mobile devices. The system supports customized questions that can be Likert type and open-ended questions where people can type in their answers. And we have intuitive reports with the traffic light method as you saw already. We also offer a benchmarking function and there's an interesting function, we call it attributes, which enables you to tag groups of employees and that helps in custom data analytics, creating segment reports, you can slice and dice the data and do very advanced data analytics stuff. And of course our system is multilingual, currently we have this survey in English, German and Chinese, but translations can be added relatively easily. The 45 standard items are organized in 10 dimensions. Three of them relate to leadership. Well, everything of course relates to leadership. Everything reflects somewhat the leadership effectiveness, but there are three dimensions that are more directly tied to the impact of the leader and three are under the concept of team culture and three more about the individuals and we have one dimension for the collaboration technology which is uniquely a remote team phenomenon. And this slide shows the relationship between these areas because all these areas are highly interdependent. Let me explain the key leadership areas of remote teams. So the team leader is the blue disc and the team, the team members are represented by the green disc. Now there are two discs even though they are the same people, team and team members, this is the same team, the two disks only represent different levels of analysis. So on the left, we look at it as, uh, as a team on the team level, and on the right, we uh, look at people as individuals on the individual level. And the team leader carries out team meetings, works with the team through meetings and carries out one-on-ones 
and works with the team members as individuals in a one-on-one -on -one setting. The rounded rectangles with blue dotted line frames are the things that the team leader does. So a very big part of the work is the coordination operate some kind of goal setting and performance management system very often this is industry specific company specific depends a lot on the content of the work when we get to recognition feedback and coaching that is very universal and there's also a lot of universal principles how one runs team meetings and one-on-ones the rectangles at the bottom, collaboration technology and remote work environment, represent the tangible conditions, the tangible inputs. And the orange rectangle on the top represents the tangible output, what the team produces. It can be a code if it's a software team, it can be if it's a custom service team than the satisfied customers and the uh, those KPIs that uh, used to measure the number of calls and the customer satisfaction. If it's a sales team, then these would be the sales KPIs and the turnover that the sales team generates and so on. So here are the tangible results. The rounded rectangles with the orange dotted lines represent the intangible results and they are also conditions they are results because this is the result of the work of the team leader and the team members and they are also conditions because these are the intangible conditions that enable the team to work effectively and produce the tangible results and the value of this slide is to give a picture to the team leader, which is not too complicated, but just one slide, but it summarizes the, the work, the most important things that he needs to do, he needs to make sure that, that it's there, and then the team will generate great results. I'd like to give also a few tips for implementation. The project can be implemented by internal HR or OD teams, but most typically it's implemented by an external consultant and I write it from the viewpoint of a consultant and, uh, but yeah, and HR can just uh, do the same. So very important to f learn first about the organization, the background, why the, the team or these teams um, want to do this survey. Based on that understanding, the consultant can recommend about client-specific questions, the customized attributes that we use for slicing and dicing the data, and can decide these things with the client together, and also plan the communication strategy within the organization, and they can schedule the project steps. It's important to tell people a kind of definition of terminology, because in the survey, there is team or our team, which team is exactly. People may work in separate teams, in, in a couple of teams parallelly. And team leader also is good if we define who is exactly the team leader that the people fill in the questionnaire for. And then the system takes care about gathering the responses, generating reports is also just a few clicks. And then the reports can be shared with the top management, team leaders, HR department, with the relevant people. It is recommended that the consultant or the HR OD professional meets with the line managers and discusses what the results mean. So this is a good opportunity also to get the stories behind the numbers from, from the managers and also help them to design interventions to plan the feedback to the employees. It's very important that employees receive some kind of feedback. 
the employees don't have to see everything about the report and the questionnaire. What they care is the key findings and most importantly that there is some kind of action going on. There will be an improvement. And if the company does this properly, then it really creates a positive cycle because people feel that yes, we were asked, we put forward our honest objective uh, feedback, want to help our team to improve and then when they say that yeah actually uh, the their voices were heard and understand maybe that oh actually well how i see is not how everybody sees so there is kind of consensus about and uh, the and uh, the team strengths and the improvement opportunities and then say wow and now we are doing something this creates a sense of control a sense of ownership and engagement and it provides great condition to implement those changes and also next time when you implement the survey people will be even more engaged in participating and you can repeat the survey to track progress to evaluate the effectiveness on, of the interventions to generate that positive motion, that positive momentum and take the organization, take the teams to the next level each time. We help you, of course, at every step of this way. For example, we provide email template for announcement that you can edit and modify based on the situation of the teams and the organization. I hope this information was helpful for you to implement the service successful. Please feel free to contact us for a sample report. I look forward to hearing from you and thank you for your attention.